Good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. My name is Justin Smith and today we're going to highlight a brand new arrival here at the dealership. Very excited to do this video. It's a highly anticipated vehicle and what we're looking at is a 2015 Sherry Promaster 9 passenger diesel conversion van. Uh, this is the 3 liter uh, eco diesel and uh, it's the only conversion van on the planet that can achieve north of 25 miles to the gallon. So let's get started. What we're looking at is uh, the brilliant black finish. Everything's been painted to match. Uh, front fascia, mirrors, door handles, ground effects, all painted to match. Gives it that real nice look, of that nice limo look. Um, this particular van is equipped with the 18 inch wheel. Um, on the front side windows, we do have uh, tinted glass. It is a 35% tent, so it's legal in all 50 states. Moving down the side of the van, uh, like all of our Sherry uh, Promasters, they all do have the 5% limo tent. And I tell you, they do have privacy shades on the inside, but you cannot see through these windows. So it's gonna give you the best um, in, in sun protection and privacy available. Okay, now I wanna take this time at the very back of the van to go over some two, two very important features. Uh, some of the capabilities of this Promaster diesel conversion van and also some of the safety features. Um, I'll go ahead and start with the safety features. All of our Ram Promasters are equipped with a rear backup camera. Um, this one's located at the top of the vehicle. So anytime you put this vehicle in reverse, you're gonna get a nice visual of whatever might be behind you right on the navigation screen. And this particular vehicle is also has the backup sensors located right here in the rear bumper. So not only are you gonna get a visual, you're also gonna get an audible that's gonna intensify the closer you might get to something. So that's a great safety feature, especially if you've got kids, um, really in any situation, it's just nice to have that. Now this van is also equipped with traction control and rollover mitigation. Um, it also features a hill start brake assist. Now, if you got any questions on how those three particular safety features work and what they might do for you in this vehicle, please give me a call and I'll go over those with great detail. Uh, now moving over to some of the capabilities with this van. This is a nine passenger conversion van, obviously, so it's gonna accommodate uh, a lot of people and, and, and give you extreme comfort. But it does have towing capabilities as well, which is really phenomenal given that this is a front wheel drive conversion van. So um, this thing does so many things extremely well. I, I get sidetracked, so I apologize. But this van will tow up to 5,100 pounds. So taking that boat to the lake, you don't have to take the truck and a car to get everybody in the, to the lake anymore. You can use this conversion van. Okay, I wanna demonstrate a couple things for you guys right now. For those of you are, that are unfamiliar with the ProMaster, all of our ProMaster conversion vans have a sliding door on the curb side. Um, we do have the biggest opening in the conversion van segment, and with our van being a front-wheel drive conversion van, the only one out there gives us the lowest floor in the industry. So this van is extremely easy to enter, exit, load cargo, whatever you need to do, and it also works out tremendous for any mobility application. So if you're looking for a mobility van, I, I, I extremely... Uh, encourage you to check out this ProMaster. If you've got any questions on what kind of lifts it can accommodate, give me a call. We've done a ton of them already and it's working out great. But I'm six foot two and want to demonstrate how easy I can enter this vehicle without hitting my head. Okay, now we're on the inside of the conversion van. Always uh, the best part, everybody wants to know, or everybody always wants to ride in the back. Everybody wants to know what, what does it have in it. And I'm gonna do my best in a short time to demonstrate all the features in this van. Starting off with the chairs, uh, really nice chairs in all of our ProMaster conversion vans. We use um, a, a lot of two-tones, uh, do a lot of piping. So if there's a different, you know, if you have a certain request, color combo, um, we can accommodate that, uh, but the chair is a great chair, has nice soft bolsters, and it has a perforated leather on, on the touch side, so uh, very nice, comfortable chair, does have power recline on all the captain's chairs, and is on a swivel base. So 
Um, if you want to turn around and face the passengers in the back, you have the capability to do so. And probably the, the, the most uh, asked question I get about these chairs is, how does the seatbelt work? Well, as you can see right here, the seatbelt's incorporated right into the corner of the chair. So no matter, no matter which way you're facing, you're safe and secure at all times. So really neat feature. Um, and, and back to these chairs, um, for all the mothers out there concerned about child seats, we do have the, the hooks down here and also the hook on the back for, uh, the, to, to lock down any uh, uh, child seat. So um, not a problem to handle that as well. Now, all of our conversion vans have these real nice privacy shades. We do them all back behind a recessed wall. Um, and they, I think they turned out really uh, nice uh, putting them back behind the wall. And we've learned that there's actually some functionality to that that uh, gives you an advantage over the old style. Uh, these blinds aren't going to swing out and bang up against the window when going around a corner or just going down the road. So real nice touch with the, the way that we did the blinds in here. As far as storage goes in this van, now this van has seven overhead storage compartments, okay? Um, they're all located up here in the factory raised roof. And with the biggest one being directly above the rear sofa, and we'll show you that later on in the video. Now, get, now getting to the electronics in this van, um, this van is equipped just like all of our other raised roof conversion vans with a 32-inch LED Vizio television. Now this specific television is a 240 hertz television, so it gives you the greatest uh, picture quality, quality available, um, and it is a smart television with a few built-in applications such as YouTube, Facebook, Hulu, and there's a couple more. Now we have all of our TVs paired up with the Blu-ray player as well. Now, not only do we just use a Blu-ray player, we went ahead and went with the smart Blu-ray player, and it does also have the applications uh, the same as the TV. Um, now this Blu-ray player it will handle a regular DVD and uh, obviously a Blu-ray, and uh, it, like I said, paired up with the 240 hertz television with the Blu-ray player connected via HDMI, gives you the best uh, picture available. Now, is, when you're watching a movie, you have two uh, different options as far as the audio goes. All of our ProMaster conversion vans come equipped with wireless headphones. Uh, Mom and Dad will appreciate that. And uh, if you want to listen to it and get that true uh, sur surround sound experience, such as at the movies or at home, uh, you have the capability to do that as well with the rear radio set up in the back, paired up with the kicker, uh, kicker uh, speakers in the back. And I tell you, it sounds phenomenal. Now the control panel for all the electronics in the back of this van is located on the wall uh, next to the chair that I'm sitting in. And what you have on that panel is a 110 uh, plug-in, a DC plug-in, and then four toggle switches for all the lights in the back of the van. Now also there's a, an HDMI input on this control panel. And what that'll allow you to do is along with the 110 and the HDMI, you can hook up any video game system. Uh, plug it in, uh, hook the HDMI up right to this panel, change the input on the television, and now you're playing video games going down the road. It'll also accommodate pretty much anything that uses an HDMI uh, uh, connect, connect cord will uh, translate right to the television. So laptops, tablets, if you've got a bunch of movies on, a, on an item such as that, you can uh, transfer them right to the TV, so that's real neat as well. Now above the control panel is the rear radio that I mentioned earlier. Uh, very nice setup. Um, it does have Bluetooth capabilities, so you can even do a hands-free phone call back here in the back of the van. It does have a CD slot and uh, an auxiliary input to be able to connect a cell phone or an MP3 player to be able to listen to your audio through the rear surround. Now as far as the heat and air goes in, this, in the back of this van, all of our Sherry ProMaster conversion vans use the Pro Air 2 system and we have that paired up with a digital thermostat. So it's pretty much set, one touch set and forget. Um, it's going to give you a, a reading of what the temperature is in the van at all times and, it, and once it gets to uh, the desired temperature that you set, obviously it'll kick off on its own. So it does have that auto feature, it's really neat. Okay, now I'm sitting in the rear of the van. I want to talk about the rear sofa for a minute. Uh, this rear sofa will accommodate three adults. Uh, it's extremely comfortable, has the same bolsters um, that we have in our captain's chairs, and we incorporated those into the rear, rear sofa. So it's extremely comfortable. Um, you do have the ability to slide this seat forward or back, and it is power. 
and you can even recline it just a little bit to get maybe that comfortable uh, spot to watch a movie. But the, the probably the most important thing is all the room you have in the back of this van. I encourage you to look at other models of nine passenger conversion vans and uh, I dare you to find as much interior space as that we have in this van. Again, I'm six foot two, sitting back here, very relaxed with my legs crossed and not even touching the chair in front of me. Um, and again, you can move this chair forward or back to either give yourself a little more leg room or to accommodate some more storage in behind the rear sofa. Now, being that it is a power sofa, you do have the capability to uh, fold this completely flat and pair it up with one of our captain's chairs and uh, take a nice little nap while you're on your way um, down the road. So that's, that's a nice feature to have and it comes in handy, especially on those long trips. Um, and back here, you also have cup holders. Something I didn't mention earlier is we have cup holders at every single chair in this van, uh, obviously in the back on both sides of this sofa. All of them are lit with the pretty blue lights, so they're not hard to find at night. And uh, I, th I think uh, that wraps up about everything in the back of this conversion van. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, moving along to the front of the van. Uh, first, I want to get started about the, the driver's seat and the front passenger seat. Um, they are on an eight-way adjustable pedestal. Uh, they do have a recline. They have a lumbar feature. Um, moving over to the power controls in this van, um, we do have keyless entry, uh, we do have uh, power mirrors, power windows, power collapsing mirrors as well, and uh, so everything you would expect to find in, in any modern day car, this van has it up in the front as well. Moving over to the steering wheel, we have a really nice leather wrapped wheel. Uh, this uh, wheel does have steering wheel controls on both sides of the airbag. Now the ones on the left are going to operate your navigation radio and the ones on the right are for to answer hands-free phone calls, uh, which, you know, this is a factory Bluetooth navigation radio, so it can accommodate that with no problem. Um, this van does have a teles uh, telescopic steering wheel, does have cruise control, um, so uh, you've got all that. And as I mentioned just a few seconds ago, it does have the factory navigation radio. Um, it does have satellite radio, does have uh, a USB, and auxiliary input that connects directly to the radio and also does feature a single disc CD player. Um, the navigation runs on a TomTom -Tom interface, so a lot of you are already familiar with that and probably has to be one of the easiest factory navs I've ever had a chance to play with. So it's not gonna take you a couple weeks to learn that one, you'll learn it right away. Um, the, the air and heat controls are laid out real nice with just three buttons underneath the radio, easy to get to and uh, easy to use. Um, this, as I mentioned earlier, does have a tow package on it. You do have a tow haul button here located beside the shifter. Anytime you put something on the back of this van, such as a trailer, maybe not a cargo hauler, you don't need to worry about it then, but a, a trailer, you're going to want to engage, hit your tow haul button, and what that's going to do is make it a little less stressful on your van under load, and uh, basically what it does is changes your shift points. Once again, my name is Justin Smith with Paul Sherry Conversion Vans, and we hope that you enjoyed the video that we did of this highly anticipated diesel nine passenger conversion van. Now, if there's any questions on this, on something that I might not have covered on this particular van, or maybe a different van that you've seen on our website, or even something that you want to create for your own, uh, please don't hesitate to call. We're always around and we're willing to accommodate anybody's needs, do the best we can. Um, and for those of you that like the videos that we do or in search of that perfect conversion van you've yet to find, I kindly ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and even like us on Facebook and that's going to better your chances all the way around. Once again, thanks for joining us and have a great day.